Welcome back to Rebuild Rescue. All right, guys, we're back in the hangar today with the 401. We got a lot of work to do, but before we get into that, we have an announcement. So we're gonna be at Oshkosh 2022. We're gonna be meeting you guys and we have a giveaway. We're giving away over $7,000 of cash and prizes, including merch and, and gifts from our sponsors and stuff like that. So we'll be in the Abedine booth on Monday at 11 a.m. till 12, and on Tuesday and Wednesday from 9.30 to 11 a.m. And we'll be at the Aspen booth on Monday and Tuesday from 1 to 2 p.m. Guys, you gotta come over and meet us. For every person that comes to the booth, you get one entry just for coming over and meeting us. And if you got some Rebuild Rescue merch on, you get five entries. And, wait a second. And we got new merch. We have a hand-drawn Let's Fly 401. And we got the Rescue Crew shirt. So guys, get your merch. Make sure if you have merch, you've got it on for Oshkosh. Come to the booth, meet us. We can't wait to meet you guys, and we can't wait to give you guys some cool prizes. So what are we doing today? We got a few things we can do. Yeah, we got a few things we're gonna do. So a couple weeks ago, Jake spent days cleaning up the engine bays on the 401, and they came out amazing. So if some of you guys are wondering what this looked like under here after the engines were pulled, there's still all kinds of bird stuff all down through here. It seems these birds, these critters, they they just get everywhere and they just, they make a huge mess. the final cleanup that Jake was able to do. He scrubbed his butt off. If you guys remember what these looked like, they were terrible. He killed it. They look awesome. They're so clean. That was the left one. Look at this right one. I mean, this thing looks, looks like new. It was a good job. I'd eat off of it. Well, I don't, I don't know if I'd eat off of it, but depends how hungry you are. <laughs> um, all this is going to come off. It'll all be brand new, and that'll allow us to scrub even more. But I just wanted you guys to see how clean this is. You know, Jake kicked butt. Thank you, Jake. Yes, sir. That was awesome. You did a great job. So today, we're going to take the engines from the 401. We're going to get them all cleaned up. We're going to pull the front end of this off and clean out all that bird stuff that we found. And I believe we'll pull out the heating system for the whole airplane. This, this 401 has a gas-fired heater in the nose of it for the airplane. And I know like when someone first told me there was a gas-powered heater in this, I don't know why, but I just pictured an airplane exploding in the sky. So we're gonna pull that out. We're gonna send that out. And I think there may be even a new version. So we're either gonna get that overhauled or we're gonna put a new version in it because a gas powered heater is probably something we want to be careful with. Yeah. Um, we're also going to get the tip tanks off and we're going to get this thing ready to pull the wings. And we have a couple announcements, so stick with us while we get this stuff done. Let's get at it. Can you, uh, can you grab me my box, that box there? Yeah, what is this? 
This is my Bright Cellars wine box. I'm a busy guy and Bright Cellars is a wine delivery service that comes to your home or office and they send you new wines every month based on your own tastes. All I had to do was log on to brightcellars.com. There's a simple seven question quiz and from that quiz, they start matching up wines that you're gonna love. From my first box to this box here, I've liked every single wine they've sent me. It's some amazing wines that I may not try otherwise. I found a few new wines that are now my favorites. Along with all of your wines, you get wine wisdom. You get information on every single bottle of wine that they send you. The cool thing about the cards that come along with the wine is sometimes I really don't know which wine is gonna pair with what food best. Right in the back of the cards, it gives you some recommendations for the perfect cheeses and the perfect foods that match the wine. And you guys all know, if you have the right wine with the right meal, it's amazing. One of my favorites is Unsinkable. It's a red blend and it pairs really well with like aged Gouda and filet. It is the perfect stay at home date night wine. Along with your subscription, you also get a concierge team just in case you wanna do things like change your address or change the type of wine you're ordering or maybe you wanna try some different tastes. All the Bright Cellars packaging is completely recyclable, plastic free and the smallest carbon footprint in the entire industry. So guys, make sure you click the link in the description below to get a 50% discount on your first six bottles of Bright Cellar wine. And I really wanna thank Bright Cellars for coming on board with Rebuild Rescue. Their support of the channel and your support of the sponsor helps us to do all the things here we do at Rebuild Rescue and we really appreciate it. All right, so we got both engines over here. We gotta get the pressure washer out. We gotta get some degreaser on them. We are gonna send these out to the overhaul shop next week, and we wanna get them as clean as possible. The last thing I'm gonna do is be that guy that drops off one of these engines. We might get kicked out of the overhaul shop, so we don't want that because we have a year to get this done. Our goal is to have this done by Oshkosh 23. We're dropping two videos a week now. We're going at it hard. We got all kinds of companies coming in to help us with the 401. Not only is that 401 gonna be flying again, that 401 is gonna be more than my dream airplane. It's everybody's dream airplane. You guys are gonna get to come and see it the first time at Oshkosh 2023. So Jake, let's get the pressure washer out. Let's get the hose. Let's get all the degreaser and let's also, you know, make sure that we tape everything up and these taped up and Let's get these things clean. Let's do it. There's gonna be a ton of crud that comes off of this engine here in a little bit. And maybe an engine heater. All right, you feeling good? I'm feeling great. All right, let's get this thing sprayed down. Sam, I'm washing this engine and 
I'm even looking at some of the studs compared to that engine. Now, that's engine one, which started much easier than engine two, mm -hmm. but this one looks newer. Do you remember which one was don't, newer? I don't remember. You know, everybody wants to see this thing broken apart. Well, it, it'll be interesting to see what it does look yeah. like when we pull it apart. So. I think everybody's waiting to see that thing pulled apart, like even yeah. mechanics here on the field. I, I'd love to see that. Thing yeah, I think, and, and like that, so I'm kind of wondering like what it yeah. looks like. Well, I know what that one, I know what this one looks like a little bit inside because I had it apart because I put two pistons in it. It's got some pitting, but it's not terrible. And it didn't look bad. I mean, I know these cylinders. We'll just be able to send them out, overhaul them. But you know what I was actually thinking? So being an old racer, with you, with you, <laughs> so, no so, so being a, you know, an old racer and engine builder. And how many concussions did you have during that time? Well, I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I built probably, I don't know, five, 600, uh, you know, sprinkler engines before. So there's some things that can kind of be done to these engines to make them a more reliable, you know, to make them have a little bit more power and to run just smoother and better, you know, right. just, you know, with some balancing and make sure all the cylinders are port matched. We have all electric de-icing. Actually, we have complete de-icing for the windshield coming. Avidyne and Aspen are coming on board. Full glass panel in the 401, nice. all glass. So MJ Aircraft reached out and they said, hey, we love the 401, we love the project, we want to be part of it. Mm -hmm. So they're putting a completely custom interior in it. They were, I think, cool. as excited as we are to get it over in their hangar over in Indiana and start working on it. So right. it's gonna be at like a, a Resto Mod 401. Literally once MJ Aircraft got a hold of me for some reason, and I think you saw me that day, it sunk in that- Yeah, that's happening. That it, it's the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest thing. So these are going out. These are going out. Um, the turbos are already out? No, so, well, that's another thing. You know, so we're actually waiting for Vapor Home Technologies to get a hold of us. Um, they were out here a couple weeks ago. Very, very excited to, to see this thing fly. Yeah. And they're gonna set up a Vapor Honing machine for us here at the hangar. So if you guys haven't seen that video, Go check out the video, Vapor Honing Technologies. They came and visited and we're just waiting on them because we have a ton of parts over there that we're gonna clean up 100% and then we're sending them out and we're gonna get them all overhauled, but we really gotta get on it. We gotta get on it. We have a year. We have one year. Everybody thinks I'm crazy saying there's no way this will get done in a year. Well, I may be crazy and I already know you are, so, but it's getting done. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a brand new 401. It's gonna be the only one in the world and you guys are gonna be a part of it. Yeah, a lot of the names are gonna be on it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and we gotta get all those names. Everybody's name that donates to the 401, the Phoenix, on the GoFundMe, is going right on the side of the airplane. And they don't know this yet, but their names are also going somewhere else. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let people know. The potty seat? The, not the potty seat. Actually, that's for the scammers and the <laughs> trolls. So the scammers and the trolls were going on the potty seat. <laughs>
I should probably pull some of this stuff off. Like if you look up in here, I mean I pressure washed it, but I didn't quite get it all. Let me hit that quick. So the two engines are 95% clean. If you look over here, like Jake has been kind of keeping the dirt at bay, but that's a lot of dirt to have in engines that were literally cleaned like four times. So if you can imagine, man, but, but look at this one. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, like this almost looks ready to put back in. I say we strap it in, we throw, just kidding, just joking. <laughs> it's, it's one step closer to um, getting it over to the overhaul shop, getting it pulled down there, getting it completely cleaned up in all the parts washers and all the parts sent out. Like I'm so excited about it because in a couple of months, and it is gonna take a couple of months to get these things back. I think maybe we might have to call them every day and push them along or, uh, or whatnot, but no, and, and seriously though, like we need to get this apart and get the parts out to give them time to get them uh, overhauled the way they're supposed to be. But I can't wait to see all brand new hoses and all this stuff 100% clean and all brand new hose clamps and these hoses here, you know, brand new wires, like, you know, it, ju it just hits me. This is gonna be a brand new airplane, not just an airplane that you know, we fiddled with and we got flying. It takes a lot more to overhaul things. This is gonna be a zero time propeller, zero time engine, zero time turbo, fuel injection, all the components, zero time. We're gonna pull those wings apart. Everything will be cleaned. Everything will be sealed. Brand new fuel pumps, brand new, uh, did I say that already? Like, it's gonna be a brand new 401. And it's gonna do missions for the next 20 years. None of this stuff hit me the way it hit me the other day, and I can't explain. Whew. It's gonna be awesome. Look at that hefty scoop. Mmm! All right, so we got the engines all cleaned up. They're looking really good and they're ready to ship out to be overhauled. But there was something that we didn't quite get to on the 401. I didn't really think about it until I started looking at some of the components a little bit closer and also looking at the manual as far as the things that we have to inspect to be able to, to fly this again. And under this panel, is the heating unit for the 401. It actually has, if you look in here, 
it has its own timer for how long this heater's run. This heater's ran 329 hours. In the book, it says it needs uh, serviced at 500 hours or overhauled or something, but looking at this, I think it's going to need overhauled now because it actually became another place for the birds to, uh, to raise uh, their families in. Let's get this all apart and see what it looks like. It's actually amazing how like almost paper thin and flimsy this stuff is. I mean, every time I pull something out of an airplane, it just reminds me of, you know, it just has to be as lightweight as possible. And the engineering that goes into these things is just, it, it, it amazes me every time. Maximum baggage, 350 pounds. 99% sure there's gonna be another birdhouse under here. This is the uh, radar receiver. This actually does have radar built into the nose of the 401 and there's a, a whole radar display. I don't really know if people, you know, with all the technology we have today, if people really use radar in an airplane like this anymore. So I'm not sure if we're gonna keep it or if we'll remove it. We have all the panels out from here. They actually give you this nice access panel here to pull out. That'll help us get this heater unit out of here and help us get some of that bird crap out.
It's like the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> as far as I can tell, this needs cleaned out yet. And then I think there's a few inspection panels that we pulled down that had that had a little bit more of this in, but not much. So we're almost all cleaned up from this, uh, this bird mess. So it's not perfect, but if you guys look in there, that looks really good. I think what we'll do, we are gonna get our uh, dry ice blaster here. You know, we're gonna be able to get all this stuff off of here and then spot any corrosion, take care of that. But I see some light surface corrosion. I don't see anything alarming. That thing is a mess. Look at like the boots are tore. Good thing nobody tried to fire this thing up. It's almost like a little torpedo heater. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. It's like a south wind combustion heater. Something I wanted to mention, there was a lot of folks uh, checking in on the comments about the Austin Healy. So one of the other announcements we have is a couple weeks ago, Tim Gentry and Braxton were here from Gentry and Sons Trucking. What's up, buddy? How How's you it going, brother? That 401 you got, that's just like my dream airplane. Oh, really? Yeah. So you, do you guys oh, want to check it out? Yeah. <laughs> it's like right over here. <laughs> wow. Videos don't do it any justice. So I'd love to fly on this thing one day. Yeah, absolutely. They checked out the 401 but they also picked up the Austin Healy. because they took it down to Tennessee and it's going down to 23rd Garage. Welcome to 23rd Garage. Today we have a very exciting video for you guys. It's getting all the body work done. We're gonna go down and then we're running the Austin up to Chicago where we're gonna see Alex from Legit Street Cars. Hey guys, welcome back to Legit Street Cars. We're gonna get it all mechanically working well and running well 
and then we're giving it away. So guys, make sure you watch all the Austin videos on Gentry and Sons Trucking, 23rd Garage, and Legit Street Cars because every video is a chance for you guys to enter to win. And that thing is going to be completely gone over. Brand new paint job, brand new bodywork, brand new tires, brand new everything. It's gonna be ready to roll. And I can't wait till we can give that away. Make sure you check it out. All right, we got the heater out. We got the front end of the 401 all cleaned up. So now we got to get these tip tanks off. Obviously we have some fuel in here. So first we got to get the fuel out. I'm going to pop off this nose piece just to get it off and then unhook all of the connectors here carefully. And then we're going to, get, <laughs> then we're going to take his tip tank off. The more I work on this, I just, I, I can't believe I'm taking it all apart. I can't believe, you know, I can't believe we're ripping this thing apart. Um, you know, and I, I keep thinking to myself, what, you know, what's it going to be like to put it back together? Yeah, it's just crazy. Whole lot of nothing. In good shape. Let's get as much out of the tanks as possible. And then I'm sure we'll get some drippage then from the fuel we can't get out of there. Hopefully we don't have too much in here. So we got enough of the fuel drained out. There's probably, I don't know, three or four gallons in here yet that we're not gonna be able to get out. I have a feeling though, once we start loosening everything up, it's gonna come out anyway. So we'll get a catch bucket over here. looks like the this tip tank actually and these are the main tanks on the 401 it's a little different than a lot of other airplanes a lot of other airplanes the tip tanks are auxiliaries but in the 401 these are the main tanks and it looks like it had some leaking going on with these fittings so these fittings are actually riveted into the tank so what we'll do is the front part of the tank you can disassemble and it allows you to have access to the whole tank. So this whole tank's going to get serviced. It'll get coated with like a, a coating that seals everything off 100%. And we can also make sure every little ounce of dirt or anything that could have been in there is out. So we've got plenty of room in the tank for this to drain off. It's going to take a while for it to just drip out. So I'm going to go over to the other tip tank, start cutting all the ties and getting ready to pull it off.
All right, let's go check the other side and see if the fuel's out of there. See if we can pull the tip tank off. So, all right, we got everything disconnected over on the right tip tank. So I'm just going to pull the three bolts to hold it on. That's another thing, and I mentioned this probably a thousand times or too many times, but three bolts holds a hundred some gallons at like 260 miles an hour flying through the sky. So we got the, the first tip tank removed. We have to finish taking the one off the other side, but man, to me, it's just every, every part we pull off is, it's just another, it's just another part closer to getting this thing done, you know, and another part closer to realizing uh, the dream. So yeah. And, and again, everything looks good. There's no corrosion here. You know, the rubber hoses are, are beat. You know, we're gonna replace all that stuff, like, but <clears throat> main parts, no cracks, no corrosion. There's nothing, nothing bad going on out here at all. The tip tank, it's in good shape. You know, well, well, this will all come apart. The, the lid's going to come off, all that stuff's going to get all blasted, all stripped, all resealed, all new screws. It's feeling good. It just feels good. All right, you guys. So we got the engines all cleaned up. They're ready to go to the overhaul shop. The tip tanks are off. The engine heater's out. Everything's clean under there. We're one step closer to getting this thing up in the sky. I was so dirty, I had to go put some new rebuild, rescue, let's fly merch on. If you guys haven't been on the site, get on there. The link is down below. A portion of these proceeds obviously go towards my favorite airplane. I mean, I do like the TB22, but ah, it's, it's tough. It's, it's, it, it is, it's really tough. But guys, you know, it, it helps us at the channel. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for coming along and spending some of your time with us. Like, subscribe, and if you could do me a huge favor, share this video. Share this video with everybody you know. We're gonna get this thing flying. You guys are awesome. See you at Oshkosh 2022. Don't forget, we have a huge contest there. I wanna meet every single one of you. Stop by and see us. Take care.